I have this Easter basket that I found at the Dollar Tree. It looks like a basketball hoop, and I'm going to remove the sticker off the bottom. And I just use my heat gun to help soften and lift that. I'm then going to remove the orange handle. And then there is a piece of plastic that snaps to the white that I'm going to remove as well. And all this came off very easily. And I just took a pair of scissors and cut off the plastic handle holders. I have this wood round. It measures about six and three quarters of an inch. I'm going to paint the entire thing with some Wise Owl Snow Owl. You do not need full coverage. I also got this candlestick at the Dollar Tree. I had previously spray painted it with some white. I'm then going to take my furniture salve. You can use any top coat. Place that on top of the white paint. And then I'm going to paint over that with my Wise Owl chocolate. Now since I have that barrier there, I'm then going to take a baby wipe and wipe a majority of that brown off, leaving it heavy in some spots and going down to the white in some others. You can really do this however you'd like. I have a picture hanger here and I bended the bottom to fold out and I'm gonna glue that on top of my basket. I'm just using hot glue. And then I'm going to place a bunch of hot glue on the top and cover around the hanger with some reindeer moss. Now, I got a bag of this right from the Dollar Tree, and during this project, I will use the entire bag. Once I had the top covered, I'm then just going to go down the side of the basket, just randomly adding sections of moss. Now, you can go heavier, you can go lighter. You can really customize this to your liking. And once I had that section covered, I then turned it around to the other side and repeated the same exact thing. And then I went around the rim of the basket and covered that with the reindeer moss too. You can also cover it with jute. I'm going to go back to my base and I'm just gluing down these little wood cubes you can find at the Dollar Tree, making little platforms for the items I'm going to be adding to my circle. I then covered the base of that with some hot glue and I'll take my reindeer moss and lay it on top. So again, you do not need full coverage of the white paint. I have this little nest I'm going to place on one of the platforms. I got that from Hobby Lobby, and I'm going to fill it with these little plastic eggs that also came from Hobby Lobby. And then I have three ceramic birds I got from Target. They're tiny, and I'm going to place one of them on the second platform. I added a little wood circle to my candlestick holder and then I'm going to place my circular base on top of that. I have a galvanized birdhouse that came from Dollar Tree as well. I'm just putting one Jenga block on the inside so that way I can add some hot glue to the bottom to help this to stand. I decided to dry brush most of the stuff with a little bit of white hoping that this would just kind of pop the galvanized color. I'm going to go back to my basket and I'm going to take a chip brush and I'm going to rub on some Wise Owl chocolate paint. Still allowing some of the white to pop through. And then I'm also going to do the inside. Again, this is just a light coverage. I'm then going to take some Wise Owl Higgins Lake and go on top of the brown kind of creating almost like a rusty effect. So this is what we have, and then you could put the cage on top of your platform. I set one of the chicks from Target on top of the bird cage as well. And then I did go back and paint the bird on the inside blue, and you can really leave it, or if you want it to pop a little more, you can give it some color. 
And there you go. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Paint products, tissue paper, transfers, and mesh stencils can all be found on our webpage at chalkitupfancy.com. And don't forget, you can also check out other tutorials over on our webpage. Have a great day.